President. Thank you, Senator Reynolds. Senator Roberts. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. As a servant to the people of Queensland and Australia, I rise to support this bill. Trust is extremely important. People want and need trust. And that is, explains the rise again of Pauline Hanson's One Nation Party, because people actually trust Pauline Hanson and those who work with her. Pauline Hanson's One Nation Party is all about trust. And for 20 years, Pauline Hanson, now Senator Hanson, has led by example and has built trust, and that is rewarding her party. How can there be trust, though, when a major party is telling lies? In the last campaign, the Medicare campaign was deplorable. Not only did it spread lies, but it also spread fear. It fomented fear. And the architect, so we're told by the media, the architect of the Medicare campaign was none other than the, reportedly the daughter of the former treasurer, the member for Lilly, Mr Wayne Swan. That seems to go to the core of the Labor Party. But it's not just the Labor Party that is misrepresenting events and trying to create havoc. We see that instead of using data, the Greens, when they're fomenting their policies on climate and their claims on climate, misrepresenting climate, actually use photos of billowing steam as carbon dioxide. And yet carbon dioxide is clear, odourless, colourless and tasteless. It's invisible. It's a trace gas. Yet we see these pictures of billowing steam. Or we see the, Labor Party, or see the Greens Party taking pictures of cute and cuddly and colourful animals, colourful fish from the Great Barrier Reef, to say that that's their evidence. There is no such evidence that humans, through our production of carbon dioxide and the use of hydrocarbon fuels, is affecting global climate, none whatsoever. Yet the Greens have deceitfully deceitfully started these smear campaigns about humanity um, and tarnished the reputation of our country and our Great Barrier Reef. Then we have Senator Watts' vexatious complaints about, uh, about the Pauline Hanson's One Nation Party in Queensland. And then we have the Prime Minister at a speech last Wednesday, which I was um, appalled at listening to, blaming the Labor Party for the energy crisis, when in fact both major parties and the Greens are responsible for our current energy crisis, an ongoing energy crisis, while, Mr Acting Deputy President, people are not telling the truth and are blaming others, then we won't have the, the public understanding honestly what is happening and we won't have real policies being based on real evidence. The Prime Minister's party, the Liberal Party, put in place the renewable energy target under Prime Minister John Howard's government. The Prime Minister's party was the first to bring in, in as policy an emissions trading scheme, and that led to the carbon tax, and now it's led to other uh, similar, similar policies and claims. The Prime Minister's party is the one that stole farmers' property rights uh, to comply with the Kyoto Protocol. This is what's costing people in Queensland and right across our country enormously in terms of stealing of property rights, raising of energy prices unaffordability of energy prices, and now in this country, with the best coal deposits in the world, we have people having a choice between do I eat or do I use heat. That is deplorable. In this country, under this government and under this opposition when it was in government, we have the destruction of energy based upon a lie, one of the biggest lies ever told. And when this is occurring, people are paying the price. Everyday Australians right across our country are paying the price. And so we support this, this uh, bill because we need to start bringing trust back into politics. Pauline Hanson's One Nation Party puts people before politics. And this bill is a start to putting the people before politics. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President.